What's going on everyone? It's time for another horror slasher film review. Today we're going to talk about Silent Night, Deadly Night. I did the the third one, might as well do the first one. So yeah, it was released November 2nd, 1984, written by Michael McKay and produced by Era Richard uh, Barmack and directed by Charles E. Sellier Jr. who also did films like The Annihilators, Snowballing, The Life and Times of Grizz Grizzly Adams. Capture Grizzly Adams and a whole lot of other things. This had a budget of $750,000 and made over $2.5 million upon its release. Um, only in the first week, though, because it got pulled from theaters due to the controversy of a happen of violence at Killer Santa Claus, even though uh, four years prior to this, Christmas Evil, which I reviewed recently, actually came out and uh, that didn't even cause a big stir. So, I don't know, people, cancer culture's been around for a while, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. But also, fun note that this actually beat out A Nightmare on Elm Street on its initial release. And then, because they only made like $1.5 million on the first week, but then made a lot more money after. This one, since it got pulled from theaters, that's all the money it made. But then it made a quite a good chunk of money on home video, which spawned six sequels. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about the film. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Well, you're following the story of Billy. He is, a uh, he first sees him and his baby brother are, um, on the road home from visiting his grandfather and stuff. And, uh, yeah, his, uh, mom and dad get violently murdered by a Santa Claus, which causes him to have, um, painful memories of the color red, Santa, and things like that. And, um, so... Uh, night in his young child life, he uh, basically goes to an orphanage and they try to help him get through that by beating him and stuff. So he's been abused quite a bit at this point, and uh, he still holds in a lot of that trauma. And uh, a lot of other trauma comes from being whipped and stuff like that at the orphanage and that. So eventually, when he's a young man, he gets a job at a toy store, and uh, he's working there, and then he gets asked to. Uh, summon for Santa Claus, which is like the ultimate bad thing, so he does, and it makes him click and turn and being naughty, and people being naughty, so he goes on a psychotic killing spree, and <laughs> it's up to the nun, to, uh, it's the nun that knows his story well to help him through it, um, but he also seeks revenge on the senior nun and stuff. Um, overall, this is actually a pretty fun uh, horror slasher thriller. There's a lot of good horror elements mixing in with this. You do see the killer's face, obviously, so it's more of a slasher thriller. Um, but yeah, I really like the action sequences. Now, this was shot on two different grades of film because the first run was shot on a, like, a more expensive film, but the director was too grossed out by gore to uh, shoot the gory violent scenes. So the editor had to go back and shoot those scenes on a different grade of film. So that's why some of it looks different as you watch it. But still, it's still, besides that, it doesn't take from the viewing of the film. Um, it's a good slasher film. You get Renee, Renee Quigley or Renee Quigley, uh, the Scream Queen icon from the 80s coming in. She uh, plays, uh, she's the one who gets impaled on the antlers and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of good kills in this, a lot of good designs for the deaths and things like that. And it was very inventive and uh, pretty good for a holiday slasher film. The cat keeps the theme throughout and it's uh, pretty believable and uh, pretty well done. Um, it, I really enjoyed it. It's not going to be for everyone, and it's more of like a downgrade. It's like, you can tell it's like an independent made slasher film, so, um, it's not by no means a fantastic film or anything, but it's still a really good, like, popcorn slasher film. If you like slasher films and you haven't seen it, check this one out. Um, and if you like, like, good gory deaths, some of them are pretty good, so, um, but yeah. Overall, I'll give Silent Night, Deadly Night a 3 out of 5. It's a fun time, and it's an amusing film, to say the least. And it sets off a good, interesting one, because uh, the sequel ends up being one of the so bad it's good movies. But <laughs> let's talk about that another day. So, um, but yeah, Silent Night, Deadly Night was actually a pretty good holiday slasher film, and I pretty much enjoyed it. So, yeah, and it's... Definitely, like I said, it's more of a popcorn flick than 
anything else. It's not really meant to be taken seriously or anything. So yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. So check it out if you haven't seen it. I'll link a trailer or the film if I can find it down below. And also make sure you check out my screen. It's linked down below. So I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. I usually have the film title and hashtag and sub John film and a hashtag so you're aware of it. And also my other boxes down below at Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the films. So follow me on those two platforms. Stay in the loop with this channel. Like this video. Share it to more people. Wherever. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And also, if you have any films or film franchise in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below as well. And also, if you want me to do the rest of the Silent Night, Deadly Night films. Uh, there's four others, I think. Or three others, whatever. Um, yeah, let me know. Yeah down below as well but also make sure you ring that bell because I'm actually going to be talking about part two so I'm going to delineate part two in the next review and don't forget to subscribe so hopefully you find something weird obscure and all that you probably never thought of checking out together somewhat like this and reviews on classic films popular films and reviews on other things as well so yeah but yeah watch out for all those killer Santa Claus this is that thing I guess I'll see you all in the next review so until then cheers